am going to do another makeup look for you. Um, it's a very gloomy day, so I'm not sure how the lighting would be. Uh, so, sorry about that. And I saw this gorgeous look on Instagram um, that they did for Kylie Jenner's Sprinkle Lip Kit, I think. And this is what... Um, she looks like it's a very simple eye makeup look with this obviously sprinkle lip kit and I don't have the sprinkle lip kit but I do have some dupes for you um, it's a very goldeny simple really really simple eye look and um, strong brows and dewy skin so we're gonna try to recreate that today and Okay, let's just get started. I have a bunch of products that I'm going to be using. Let's start with the eyes. I am going to use MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Indian Wood. And I'm just going to, it's a gold color. And I'm just going to apply that all over the eyelid. Even though her eye makeup is simple, it stands out. But it's one of those looks where you can you can wear it for like any lip color. Before we move on, I'm just gonna um, moisturize my skin. I'm using um, Embrilles. I hope I'm saying that right. Just a little bit where I need it, mostly around my mouth. This is a very good moisturizer to have in your kit. It's very emollient. Going to put some MAC strobe cream just on the high points because although I have dry skin because of the pregnancy, I sometimes get a bit oily around my T-zone. Still, whereas before, it was just um, my whole face was oily so so I'm just gonna apply this just to the don't apply to the middle then it'll look like you have like a flashlight on you just like do you see that beautiful glow you get from that and this is colorless it's just like strobing cream so um, any skin tone can use that this is a duo I think that I picked out myself so I'm just gonna be using this color which is called something that I don't know so that will be going on the lid And I'm going to do the brow bone highlight which seems to be very golden now this is sort of like a muted gold so I'm going to use this Chi Chi bronzes palette it's a very old palette and I'm going to use the pale gold in that it's that color right here which is very beautiful and shimmery it's completely different to the color that we just used So, for the brow bone, let's take that color. Always tap off the excess. Oh, that is so pretty. That color is really gold. I haven't put down a base um, under the brow. You could, it might intensify this. And she does have it in the inner corner as well. Just a little bit. 
yeah it's the same color just very little bit do have a bit of a fallout from that eyeshadow it's very flaky anyway that's basically the eyeshadow done I do feel like she has some sort of a matte color going through the crease mind you my skin tone is much 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 darker than hers so all these colors might look either lighter or darker than what it looks like in her picture but I matched it to her picture so the colors should work for any skin tone I suppose I am just going to take my really tiny Morphe M514 brush and go in with this color creme brulee from Makeup Geek it's a really nice um, transition color and I'm just gonna blend it through the crease ever so slightly because it doesn't look like she has very much going on in the crease so this might just be the answer but definitely blend everything this is a very easy look you guys anyone could create this it looks very sophisticated though and I'm just gonna take my humongous real techniques uh, 200 brush which is one of my favorite brushes ever and blend everything so that's literally the eyeshadow done now she has um, a black liquid liner going through her upper lash line so I haven't put liquid liner in so long that it's getting me really really nervous I'm gonna use Revlon color stay liquid liner in what's the color blackest black so that's how the liner looks I'm gonna match it up on the other eye off camera and then I'll be back okay so that's the eyeliner done It's a very simple eyeline, like nothing much. By the way, this, even though it says black as black, it's not that black, so calm down. Um, she does have massive lashes on, and I'm pretty, sh pre pretty sure she has um, black mascara as well. So I'm just gonna use, what do I want? I'm gonna use Benefit They're Real. which is a gorgeous mascara I wanted to use um, this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Peel Brightening Serum Foundation the color is in Bare Honey I hope it suits me Uh, Coastal Sands BRC S29 this big brush okay for my eyebrows I am going to use my favorite essence make me brow and I'm just gonna go over it over my eyebrows which are at the moment in like the most beautiful perfect shape it's grown out a little bit but I love overgrown eyebrows so Concealer. Now I have this uh, MAC Studio Conceal and Correct Duo 
which has a peachy side and the conceal side. I'm not going to use the peachy side because I, I don't think I need it today, but I'm going to use the conceal side, which is making a weird sound. Oh, thank you for that. Oh, it seems really yellow. Let's see. This might be a mistake. Well, let's find out together. Oh my god, it's so yellow. Why are you so yellow? I'm going to use my new mask powder to set my under eyes because this powder is literally the best powder to set your under eyes. I'm telling you guys, if you can't find it where you live, I'm so sorry, but it's amazing. And I'm using a Real Techniques setting brush. I actually like that concealer. I don't know if it will crease over time, but for the moment, it looks good. The lower lash line doesn't look like she has done much. I am just going to use this waterproof cold cardio by Rimmel Scandalize in Taupe in the inner waterline. If you have lighter skin tone, use some um, a lighter shade in here. One of those NYX concealer pens work really well too. Which I had one somewhere, I can't find it, but this color is this color is great for um, dark skin tones. Um, so then doesn't look like she has anything other than mascara on the lower lash line I am however just going to take the gold color we used on the lid and sort of run it all along the lashes lashes lash line and I'm going to use my favorite highlight her highlight looks goldeny as well, so I'm just going to use Glow 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 Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. And doesn't look like she has contoured much. Her hair is in the way, so I can't really see. I might do a very light contour, but at this point, I'm just going to do highlighter. So, her highlighter comes like so far into the cheek two blush options I am I could use summer fling by makeup geek or dandelion by benefit I think um, because hers doesn't look as peachy, it looks pinky but peachy, very light blush. So I think I'm going to stick with Dandelion because it's a very pretty blush. And it's really light for my skin tone, so... I have, well, this Burnt Cherry Lip Liner by Jordana, which is not a match, but I'm just going to use it to line my lips. So I have three lip choices. Now, I don't think any of these are the same exact match, but they're pretty, 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 pretty close. So I have 
Cherry Picking uh, by Wet n Wild, I think. And this, to me, looks like the most perfect, closest shade to this Sprinkle Lip Kit. However, if you can't find that, Shanghai Susi color, Miss Melissa, gorgeous, beautiful vibrant color. This one might be a tad bit more out there than the um, Cherry Picking. Cherry Picking is one of my favorite colors. I already have a tutorial that I've done a while ago using that color. If you can't find any of those, there's a Milani Orchid. Oh, such a beautiful color. This one, however, is a little bit lighter than what she's wearing. So, the best bet would be the um, cherry picking one. But, there's so many hot pink lips out there that you can definitely find one. I'm just going to put this on. The, um... All three of these lipsticks are matte. The lips, you guys. Oh, so pretty. I love hot pinks. <laughs> I'm going to put lashes on off camera. I am using Miss Adoro Wispies and Dual Eyelash Adhesive. Oh. I did put lashes on and uh, it doesn't look like the one she has on it could be but uh, yeah it could be anyway and I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash line and our look should be complete so that's it you guys, this is the Kylie Jenner Sprinkle Lip Kit look. Um, so yeah, it turned out really beautiful and it's it could be a very summery look or if you're a wedding guest, um, this would be really beautiful. It's even pretty for like Valentine's Day or like date night. Anyway, so hope you guys like the look. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and we'll meet again. Mwah. Bye!